So let's look at the following setup. Let's suppose we have a box that has a mass of 10 kilograms that is resting on a frictionless horizontal surface. Now, this box is attached via a massless rope that is in turn attached to a second box that is hanging vertically via the following frictionless pulley. Now, knowing that the mass of the second box is 20 kilograms, we need to find what the acceleration of box number two is and what the tension in our rope is. So, let's begin by looking at the free body diagram, the force diagrams of both of these objects. So, let's begin with object number one. So, object number one is resting on a frictionless table. That means there will be no resistance force. So, because there is no friction, the only force on object number one will act along the x-axis in the positive direction. And this will be the force in the string, so the tension in our string, in our cord. So, let's represent this force as f subscript t. So, if we take the sum of all the forces along the x-axis, we will see that this equals to the tension in our rope. And this is equal to the mass of our object number one, of our box number one, multiplied by whatever the acceleration is. Now let's examine all the forces, the force diagram for box number two that has a mass of 20 kilograms. So now we have two different forces acting along the y direction. One force points downward and because our object will accelerate downward, let's choose the positive direction to be downward. So the sum of all the forces acting along the y-axis is equal to the force that gravity pulls on object number two minus the force in our rope, the tension in the rope. And that is equal to the mass of object number two multiplied by our acceleration a. So notice that we have two equations and two unknowns. So we can simply take this force tension and plug it into here. And we see that force of gravity minus force tension is equal to force of gravity minus uh, m1 times a. So we replace force tension with m1 times a. We get the following equation. So we want to solve for a. So let's bring all the a's to one side and we get the following equation. The force of gravity is equal to m1a plus m2a is equal to, let's take out the a, we get a times m1 plus m2, and finally we bring over the m1 plus m2. We divide both sides by the sum of these two masses. So we get fg, which is simply mass uh, of box 2 multiplied by the gravitational constant divided by m1 plus m2 and we see that our acceleration after plugging in our knowns is approximately 6.5 meters per second squared. So box number 2 will accelerate downward with the following acceleration and box number 1 will also accelerate with this acceleration along the x-axis along our table. Now, let's find what the tension in our rope is. Now, recall we said our rope is in fact massless and flexible, and that means the force, the tension in the rope, is the same along any point in the rope. So that means we have to use one of these equations to solve for our tension force. So let's use this simple equation. So, we know that Ft is equal to mass of object 1, box 1, multiplied by whatever its acceleration is, which was found to be 6.5 meters per second squared. So, 10 kilograms multiplied by 6.5 meters per second squared gives us approximately 65 newtons. So, the tension in our massless and flexible rope is six, uh, 65 newtons.